What's up, Fade Family? Jarvis Guy and Voyager Arts YT here, and welcome back to yet another SML video. I, I promise you that this is not going to become a regular thing. Now, today we're going to be talking about Jeffy the Spy, one of the more recent SML episodes that released three days ago at the time of the recording. And I really wanted to make this video because of a comment that I assume Logan made, wherein he says that he's sorry if anyone was offended by the video. We were not trying to upset anyone. All of our videos are just meant to entertain you guys. Sometimes we include dark humor, and I understand that it's not for everyone. There will be a new video Monday. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel. Now, while I do have a couple of issues with this comment, when I first read it, I had to ask myself the question, is this episode racist? And I think ultimately the answer is no. I think Jeffy the Spy is just really stupid and offensive. But that doesn't make the content of the episode acceptable. There's a lot of bad shit in here, and I just want to talk about it. And what people's points of contention might have been with the episode for Logan to make a pinned comment like this. Now, the first potential point of contention is Jeffy's Chinese accent that he does pretty much throughout the video. There is technically a reason why he does it is because Marvin orders Chinese food and Jeffy's eating Chinese food and while he's eating he says that you have to eat Chinese food with a Chinese accent and then he starts doing it but even as he's like taken away from the red couch and being interrogated and doing the quote unquote spy work he still does the Chinese accent which makes pretty much no goddamn sense and it doesn't really serve the story in any real way. I think they're just doing it because they think it's funny. And then even then, on that note, Jeffy isn't really a spy in the episode. That's entitled Jeffy the Spy. You know, and I wouldn't even consider him like a main character of this episode in any real way because Jeffy doesn't affect the story. You could take him out and it wouldn't change anything. There's literally like a scene where Jeffy has to be removed from the scene because he's just standing there like a lump. Okay, he's useless at this point. You know, in this episode, Mario is the one that's doing all the actual spy work, and Jeffy's just there to do, like, a stereotypical Asian accent and stand around. I can't say that I didn't find the accent humorous, but it wasn't, like, genuinely humorous. It was just, wow, they really decided to put this shit on YouTube. <laughs> and another point of contention that I assume people have with this episode is Xi Jinping. Now, I have a couple of issues with how they portrayed Xi Jinping, which is a bit ironic coming from me, because I have portrayed Xi Jinping before. Although I like to think that I was a bit less offensive with it, because one, it actually fucking looks like Xi Jinping, and two, I wasn't doing an accent. I was just speaking really fucking bad <laughs> Mandarin that I couldn't pronounce. But SML's depiction of Xi Jinping is a million times worse than anything I could have ever thought of. They literally have like a Confucius <laughs> type <laughs> puppet that's supposed to represent Xi Jinping. What does it mean? Which to me could say a couple of things. I mean, it could say that they didn't have a puppet that looked like Xi Jinping, or the people making SML might not know what Xi Jinping looks like, which I could probably believe, because Xi Jinping's appearance honestly isn't even the worst part of his portrayal in this episode. It's his accent. It's extremely thick and very stereotypical. Okay, this was getting to the point where I couldn't even laugh at this shit. It was just to the point where I could not believe that they actually included this in an actual episode. I, I was just sort of in disbelief. You know, and on top of that, Xi Jinping is also portrayed as a dumbass. Because he thinks that they have rice wine at Applebee's. Okay, what would you like, sir? I would like a rice wine or a soju for short. I don't think we have that. Which, I, I don't know. That's a deep cut reference, but it's also not one that they should have made because you're treading a fine line with the accent. I mean, it's a line that they probably already crossed at that point. But then you add in the fact that you're making him seem like a moron while also looking like Confucius, which Xi Jinping does not fucking look like. That's that that's a bit too much. That that's a bit too far. That's that's a very offensive portrayal right there. And then the last main point of contention, which I say for last because I'm really really mad about this is the Muslim prisoner Mohammed Mahmoud Bar, or whatever the hell his name was. He was straight up the absolute worst part of this episode for a couple of reasons. I mean, first of all, the portrayal is 
unbelievably offensive simply because the only real thing that Mohammed says is kaboom like a bomb blowing up get it because Islamic terrorism and then he also has like two like 9-11 jokes there's one where he pretends to be an airplane and then he like pretends to fly up to the bars of the jail cell and then he does his hands like a plane crashing into a tower twice and then like a couple of seconds later there's a scene of him playing Jenga with Jeffy and Mario and he literally just knocks over the tower and while I think that all of the cultural portrayals in this episode were pretty fucking bad this Muslim one was completely unnecessary you know why because Mohammed doesn't show up for the rest of the episode it's just that one scene it's just that one offensive scene you know, where he makes all those 9-11 and suicide bombing jokes. That was not necessary. And I get that it may be like dark humor, but there's a certain thing called discretion in the creative process. And you have to look over what you've done, review every scene and think, okay, how does this scene support the work as a whole? How was the audience going to react to this? So... I don't know what the thinking was in including this scene, which is just nothing but ridiculous stereotypes of Muslims, I guess, I guess terrorists. It's a, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me, man. It's like watching a 12-year-old try to explain geopolitics, but the only thing they know is what their uh, Fox News watching parents have heard of. Say, oh, but there's another Islamic terrorist attack, or our Lord, you know, China's going at it again, got them damn nukes, better nuke Taiwan, and all that shit, man. It's, it, it's ridiculous. And that kind of brings me to my final point, and it's just like I said at the beginning of the video, this episode is not racist literally because it doesn't fit the definition of the word racism you know because nowadays people call something racist if it's like racially motivated and offensive that's not the real definition of the word racism and i'd like to reserve it for the actual definition of racism which is systemic oppression based on race this year right here this is offensive and this is prejudice but i can't say it's racist because i don't know if this is rooted in actual like hatred and a desire to systemically oppress people. I can't speak on that. All I can say is that the portrayals that we saw in this episode were in extremely poor taste. And honestly, in terms of portraying marginalized groups, in my opinion, this isn't even the worst SML episode. This is one of the less malicious ones because you also have a lot of the newer like Black Yoshi episodes and you also have that one episode where they had the transgender athletes which that that one pisses me off to no end man. That I I could not finish that episode cuz it made me so mad. But that's story for another time. In the end, Jeffy the Spy, it's not racist, but it's very offensive. I would not suggest you watch it. This is irredeemable. Either way, man, I know this video is probably going to get me a lot of shit, but I just had to say something about this because if Logan felt the need to say something about this, then clearly he knows that he did something wrong. And at this point, I feel the need to hold SML accountable when they do ridiculous shit like this, man. So that should do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't got to tell you. You guys are already going to tell me how much of a beta male cuck I am anyway. Anyway guys, stick around for more diecast content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.